Hi, my name is Stephen McGee and I'm the author of Toxic Health. I'm here today to look into television remote control units and their effect on human health regarding electromagnetic interference. And to do that we have a standard AM radio. It's going to be tuned into static on the AM 530 radio band and uh, the band doesn't really matter because these all broadcast broadband radio waves. So wherever band you're on on the AM radio will pick it up as long as there's no radio station there. So you need to tune into static, which this one is. And we're going to switch it on and we're going to start testing these remote control units. So here's the first one. This is a television remote control. Let's see what it does. Let me press the button. So there's a field of a, about two feet coming out of this unit. Okay. So again, this is another remote control. This is for a DVD player. Let's see what one what it produces. So again, it's about a two foot field coming out. This is for a surround sound system. So again, about two feet. This is a video recorder, remote control. So, maybe one and a half feet coming out of that one. Now, this is a controller for a stereo system. This actually has about three feet of EMI coming out of it. And the last one is for a DVD player. Okay, that's maybe about three feet. So as you can see, these handheld remote control units to actually produce radio waves that can be easily picked up on an AM radio. So it's somewhat concerning that they do this given that EMI appears to be a stimulant to the human body. And you should go online and check out EMI and the effects that EMI is suspected to have on human health. You'll find that the symptoms are very wide ranging and the Typical health symptoms are actually documented as electromagnetic hypersensitivity and radio wave sickness. So you'll find out exactly what these radio waves can actually do to your body if you Google those. So I hope you wish I hope you enjoyed this presentation. I wish you the best of health. Thank you.